Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. So this week's topic is the emboss command. So let's jump right in. So the emboss command is typically used to uh, put a shape, whether it's a sketch, uh, text, etc., onto a surface, uh, either protruding or extruding into that surface. So in this example here, I have um, this flagpole mount, and I want to put this text um, on this cylinder. So under the Create menu, you'll find the command Emboss. So it's asking for the sketch profiles, and um, this is kind of a neat trick. Um, I did not have to explode this text. This is literally just text. I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now, it says Faces, and then you'll notice it says Tangent Chain. I'm going to go ahead and turn off Tangent Chain. If I had left that on, it would actually figure out, is there other faces tangent to it? Yes, this one here. Is there faces tangent to that? Yes. You know, and so basically it would select all of these faces, mainly because of the fillets. And I only want to select this one face. So I turn off Tangent Chain. I'll go ahead and select this face. And you'll notice nothing really happens. And I did that kind of on purpose. The text is over here in space. Typically, I would put it kind of near where I want it to be, um, but I wanted to show that you can actually use these sliders to move that text wherever you want. So you can kind of see I'm just bringing it from the right. I can now see it on that uh, surface there. And as soon as I let go, you can see it's doing the emboss. If I change it to deboss, it will actually cut into the model. In this case, I want to do an emboss, um, and then I can also rotate the text around. So I'm going to go ahead and start to rotate. I like the preview that it gives me, and I'll just go ahead and do that. And let's just kind of position this where we want um, this to end up. Let's just rotate that just a little bit more, something like so. And you can see how it is embossing, and it's actually creating the correct um, extrusion basically. Um, in previous versions before the emboss you would basically imprint the text onto the face and then extrude that out and it wouldn't um, do this correctly. So the emboss command does it correctly. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and change the depth from two millimeters down to one millimeter and we can see that looks a little bit nicer. I could even do, um, you know, like 0.5, for example. I have it just barely sitting on the surface. Um, and again, once I have it, I can kind of move it um, the way I want. Let's just do something like so and say OK. Now, that is the um, basic use case of the emboss command. Now, there's some other use cases that really speed up your design. So, for example, um, I want to make this into like a speaker grill. Um, like this is from like a Sonos speaker, for example. And you can see I already created the sketch um, where I, I have a couple circles. I patterned those circles. And now I want to put them on this speaker grill. So I'll go ahead and use the emboss command. Again, it's asking for the sketch profiles. So I'll just draw a box around all of those. Now this time I am going to turn on tangent chain because I, I want these uh, holes to wrap all the way around. So what are the faces? I'm just going to click this first front face and we can get an instant preview of what that looks like. And you can kind of see in this case I I had the uh, the circles or my sketch right in front of the part and you can see it literally projected it straight back. Um, but I can now you know position these where I want. So let's start down near the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and it looks like there's a little bit of a gap there. Let's move this to the right. So I don't even have to have my sketch in the exact correct position. I can position my emboss uh, once it's on those faces. Now, in this case, I, I don't want um, these little buttons to come out. I want them to cut in. So I'm going to change it to deboss. And I'm just going to drag this arrow here to kind of make sure it cuts all the way through. And you can kind of see the preview. I'll go ahead and say OK. Now what's cool is I can do a rectangular pattern of a feature. And I can use the emboss feature. 
what's the axis? I'll just go straight up, start to drag, and you can kind of see um, the preview that we're going to get. So let me go ahead and bring that up there, and let's increase the quantity. So let's do maybe uh, 10 or 11 in this case. And that looks much better. Okay, and then the, the last example I wanted to show is you can actually use the emboss command to create like um, interesting shapes like jewelry, bracelets, for example. Uh, so I'm gonna show how I went about creating uh, this particular object. So let's start by creating a cylinder primitive. And let's just make that four inches in diameter and one inch tall. Now I'm going to um, make a copy of this because we need to use this shape later on. So I'm going to go ahead and say um, create copy. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. And let's just um, rename this one um, remove part or something like that. Uh, we'll come back to that later. <laughs> um, so what I basically want to do is draw a triangle shape um, to wrap around this body here. So I'm gonna create an offset plane. And I like to put my plane kind of in front of the part instead of being buried in this inside of it. So I'm just gonna create an offset plane and then create a sketch from there. Now I need to draw a triangle and I could kind of do this freehand where I just, you know, click and drag. Um, but now I need to like make some things equal. I need to use constraints, add some dimensions, etc. So here's a neat little trick. I'm gonna use the ellipse command and I'm gonna change that to construction geometry. And let's just go ahead and pick the shape like so. So I just drew my ellipse and now I can come in and use regular geometry and I can grab these four points. And so I'm gonna have a perfect equilateral triangle. So I'll do something like that. And let's go ahead and offset that uh, a certain distance. So let's just do maybe a 0.1 in this case. And I'll say OK. So a very quick way to create um, an equal shaped uh, triangle. So I'll use the emboss command. So right here. What's my sketch profiles? I'm going to select that profile. What's my face? I'll click here and we can see we get an instant preview of what that would look like. Um, let's make this a little bit thicker. Let's do 0.1 in this case. And I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. Now I want to basically pattern that. Now the one thing with emboss is this is part of this body too. You can't, uh, when you do the emboss command, you'll notice there isn't an option for new body or join or intersect or anything like that. So it is part of this body too. So when I create a pattern, I'm gonna do a circular pattern and I'll do a pattern of the whole body. Um, I could do the individual faces, but in this case, you'll see why. I'm just going to do the whole body. Uh, what's the axis? We'll just click on the axis there. And then you can see we can increase the quantity. So I'm just going to increase the quantity until they start to overlap. And again, this is where the kind of the fun happens. You can make this shape any way you want. And so let's just go up until maybe they um, do something like, let's just go right about here, for example. And I'll say OK. And you can kind of see the pattern that we get. Now, these are a whole bunch of individual bodies. Let's go ahead and combine all of those together. Uh, so the tool bodies are going to be um, all of those. I'll say OK. So we're left with the body with all of the emboss on it. And then we have this remove part. So now I can come in and say the target is going to be the body and the tool is going to be this remove part and we want to cut that away. And now you can see why we use that. Um, you know, we made a copy of it because it's the exact shape of the original cylinder. I say OK and we are left with our embossed bracelet. And what's nice about this is you can come back and make changes. So for example, if the point one is too thick, we can say uh, like 05, for example, say OK. 
and it will update accordingly. I can even go back to my original sketch and say, you know what, I want um, to fill it. Uh, for example, this edge here, this edge here. Let's just do that. Finish the sketch. And now we get a shape that looks like this, for example. But you can see how quickly using the emboss command allows us to create complex geometry. So, hopefully you found those tips useful. If you did, please give a thumbs up or leave a comment in the comments section below. Also, if you have any ideas for future topics, please email them to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com. And I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.